Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. <laughs> in today's video, we're going to be breaking down 21 of the things that you should never do in your Carnival Cruise cabin. Listen, from fines as high as $500 to getting kicked off the ship or possibly even banned for life. Following these tips can save you a ton of money, stress, and your entire vacation. Y'all ready to get into it? Let's go. The first thing to avoid, this should be without me telling you, <laughs> but I got to tell you, do not smoke vape in your room or on your balcony cabin. Can't do it. There are plenty of places that they have designated for smoking on the ship. So we're not telling you that for the duration of your cruise, you got to go smoke free or vape nah. free. It would be ideal, but we all know. If that's what you do, that's what you do. There are places that you're able to do that. But listen, going ahead and doing it anyway, because I feel like I paid for my vacation, could get you a $500 per occurrence fine. Ooh. How are people going to find out that you smoked and vaped in your room or on your balcony? Somebody's going to tell on you. Or your cabin attendant is going to be the first one that notices. And they will definitely report that. And you're probably wondering, like, how in the world they're going to be able to charge me $500? This is mm. how they're going to do it. They're going <laughs> to add it to your sign and sale card, which is your onboard spending account. And also, it could get you kicked off the ship where you are or you banned for life. The second thing you need to avoid doing in your cabin, and what I'll say, we shouldn't even have to even say this as well. At all. Is do not throw anything overboard in your balcony cabin. Because this is another violation that can cost you $500 per occurrence, yep. and this can actually get you banned for life or even get you kicked off the ship. So keep everything that's in your cabin in, in your, your cabin. cabin. Food included. So yes. some people was like, oh, I like to throw my pizza crust over for the fish and whatever. You cannot no, you do can. that. You cannot do that. Third thing not to do. <laughs> I know because they're nice. <laughs> do not take the robes. Use the robes for the duration of your cruise and put them in the corner on the floor so that your room attendant can take them and send them down to be laundered. Also, do not take the towels. Right. This includes the beach towels that they give you in your room. You can take the beach towel to the islands, but bring it back. Yes. Because if you don't bring it back, guess what? Just like my husband said at the tip above, you're going to be charged for that bad boy. Yes. And then also you can take your towels to the pools. But as the queen said, make sure that you bring it back to your cabin or take it to the towel station and check it in because if the towels are missing from your room, they're going to charge it to your sign and sale card. Absolutely. All right. The fourth thing you need to avoid is do not damage your cabin. You may ask, how yeah. can I damage my cabin? A lot of us like to bring stuff from home to hang on our walls or hang on our doors. So you can actually do that thing, do that, do those things, but make sure you don't use anything that's sticky and have adhesive to it yeah. because it's going to damage the walls. And what Carnival will end up doing is charging you a cleaning fee for that. Hmm. So we ain't trying to pay no cleaning fee because <laughs> right. of that. But we do have a solution. You can actually get the magnetic hooks. Um, you can get those off of Amazon, and and also uh, we'll link those below. That's in our Cruise Essentials store. Yep. So if you want to hang stuff, you can actually do that with those hooks, so you won't have no cleaning fee found. The fifth thing to avoid doing is listen. I know we like our smell goods. We all do. We love to make our cabin smell like at home or vacation. Right. But no open flames, fam. Don't bring any candles or anything like that that you can light up. Mm -mm. Can't do it. Fire hazard. You may think you know what you're doing, but you don't have you you trying to max out your drink package for the day yeah. and you messed around and don't don't lit you a got doing candle or fell asleep and now in the middle of the night we got okay, meet at your muster station. We're not trying to do that. The sixth thing you want to avoid doing in your cabin, and this come without saying, we shouldn't even mm -hmm. have to say this, is nope. do not sit on your balcony rails. That is a big no-no because a lot of people believe that you just can fall off of a cruise ship, and that is no. not the case. Most people end up doing it because they intentionally jump, but sitting on the balcony rails can actually 
it could be an accident. You could accidentally fall over. And especially if you have little ones, they definitely love they climb. to climb up on the railing. So make sure that you keep an eye on them. And most of the time, we recommend in our travel agency, if people have kids, we tell them maybe you might not want a balcony for that Just reason. Just do an ocean view. Yes, yeah, do an ocean view. So that way, you don't have to worry about your children going out on the balcony and accidentally falling over. We do not want that story ever, ever, ever on a carnival ship or any ship. Any ship. Any ship. We don't want that story. No, no horse playing around, y'all. Just go out there and relax. And drink your soda, your tea, your wine, your wine or your liquor. Or your beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the seventh thing to do is to avoid flushing things down the toilet that's going to clog the sewer line. Right. There's going to be like a little plaque right beside each and every toilet that tells you, don't flush flushable wipes. Yes, that is on the yeah. list. Yeah. <laughs> For people like myself that love a good flushable wipe, yeah. you cannot flush those down the toilet because they do not break up like a regular piece of toilet paper would. So it can clog up the line. Also, your maxi pads, things like that. Like you can do like your tampons and things like that, but there will be a plaque that will list the things that you can flush down the toilet. And just like everything else, if you clog up that toilet, they will charge you a plumbing fee, fee. A plumbing <laughs> fee for that too. So they got fees for, for everything. everything. I'm gonna throw this in there for free. Don't flush the toilet while you're sitting on it either. Please don't. Because <laughs> we don't want your hump parts to get suction cup to that goddamn toilet. Because on one of our cruises, somebody decided that they was going to flush the toilet while they was on the toilet and they got suction cup to it. Why is it and suction cup? It's just this, suction. Yeah, it's, suction cup to it. It's just suction. <laughs> <laughs> and the crew had to tie I got no sheet around that person, and they had to get the person out of the toilet. So y'all, the OGs on the channel, y'all, y'all know, know that y'all story. Know, y'all know the story. Um, and if you want to check the story out, we will link that down below. It's called <laughs> our cruise horror story, our first cruise horror story. Yeah, yeah check that out. The eighth thing that you do not want to do in your cabin mm-hmm. is use surge protected power strips, right? Because that can that's definitely a a fire hazard on a ship. Now, I know in your mind's like, wait a minute. I thought it's a surge, opposite. I thought a surge protectant will stop it. I don't understand how it works. Me I'm not an electrician. <laughs> hey, but they the experts and, and they say no. They know. And here's the thing: if you bring it and they see it in your luggage, they gonna they're, gonna, they're gonna confiscate it and take it from you anyway. Yep. And then you will, at the end of the cruise, you're gonna have to go down to uh either the naughty table. The, yeah, the naughty table to pick it up. The ninth thing to avoid doing is duh, 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 for us people that are kind of like germaphobes or because mm-hmm. if you really think about it, I'm getting grossed out right now. Please avoid walking around your cabin or around in your shower barefoot. Yeah. Now, just think about how many feet and how many whatever else those floors and that shower um, pan have seen. Lots. <laughs> Lots. <laughs> so walking around in your cabin with a pair of flip flops or slippers or when you water take shoes. your shower, water shoes, shower shoes will help you out a lot. Do that. All right. That leads us to the 10th tip mm-hmm. that flows right from that one My is make tip. sure you bring your Lysol wipes so you can wipe down surfaces that are just like we said with the shower and the floors. Think about how many people touch those phones. You want to wipe those phones down. About how many people touch all those doorknobs, mm-hmm. the surfaces on the desk, uh, you name it, the the faucets on the on, on the water, yeah, on the sink, <laughs> on yeah, the water, it would come out. <laughs> yeah, so you want to wipe all right. that stuff down. And I know your mom might say, "Well, didn't the cabin steward actually clean that stuff?" Yes, but are we gonna actually take their you know that they really did all that because they gotta turn those over quickly they gotta turn yep so they might have messed up and didn't wipe them phones down or wipe the door knobs down because they trying to get you in your cabin so you can enjoy your cruise because y'all keep opening up that door before 1 30 yeah yeah the 11th thing to avoid is don't leave your valuables out listen we're not saying that anybody is going to intentionally take your things but one thing that we are 
going to say is don't tempt nobody with a good time. Right. Like if you just got your stuff hanging around in your room, yes, your cabin attendant comes in your room, but there are other people that may come in your room. What if you order something from the fun shop and they have to come in your room and deliver some strawberries or things like that? There are a lot of people, whether you know it or not, that have access to in and outs of your room. And if something were to be touched or taken, right, it's kind of hard to, to point the finger at who it was. So honestly, in my opinion, those people are the most honest people ever. They have sacrificed yes. so much to be in right. that con- in this country to serve you all on your cruise. Yeah. But I'm not saying that everybody is very trustworthy. Right. And I'm more concerned about the passengers on the cruise. And you're like, how can the passengers get access to the rooms? Um, if this is your first time going on the cruise, you won't know nothing about this. But us average cruisers know mm-hmm. that when we leave our cabin, right. they open the doors and they leave the doors wide open while they're cleaning. Yep. And that gives access to anybody to be able to walk up in your cabin and take something and go on down the hallway and you won't even know it. And even the cabin steward won't even know it. Because they well. might be in the bathroom or the next room. <laughs> right. So lock up all your value. What's that? Your credit cards, your keys, your wallets, your passport. Laptop, MacBooks. You know, you might got a rolly, rolly, rolly. You want to put that in there. So anything that right. you can't afford to lose or get stolen on the cruise, put that in your safe. The 12th thing you don't ever want to do in your cabin, and this kind of goes back to the balcony one, is don't leave your kids unattended in the cabin. Yeah. Um, there was a story that was in one of the Facebook pages where this couple decided to leave their children in their cabin with a nanny cam while they went to dinner. Alleged. Alleged. <laughs> and people and people have, have been going crazy about it because if you think, think about yourself when you was a kid. When the mouse, when the when the cat is away, the mice, the will mouse play. is gonna play. So please don't do that, fam. Even with all eyes on them, you down there taking yeah. a, a bite of your steak, and you look up and be like, "Where my kids at?" I know my kid was right there like two yeah. seconds ago. Where, Where are they? Even when they're yeah. asleep, I've heard people say, "Oh my, my child is asleep." I leave, I lock them up. They know not to leave. Don't do that. Smash that like button if you are getting value out of these tips so the algorithm can send this video to other cruisers so they can know what to not do in their cab. 13th thing to avoid. Listen, <laughs> let me breathe. Yes, please. Because <laughs> you will not believe how many times we have walked by a cabin and the cabin attendant is in there cleaning. And I'm trying to figure out who the hell raised these people. Right. Do not disrespect your cabin attendant by leaving your room like a freaking pig lived in it. Yes. You got your stuff all over the place. Like, you just take your stuff and dump it all over the place. The clothes are everywhere. everywhere. Dirty clothes, your underwear are all over the place. Yeah. The cabin attendant is to tidy up your room. Right. They are not your maid. Right. Can I say that louder for the people in the back? Your cabin attendant is not your maid. Right. They are there to tidy up your room once a day to get everything back in neat and nice order just so you can continue to enjoy your cruise. Don't disrespect them by doing that. Then y'all be the main ones to talk about that the prepaid gratuities is too high. Right. (laughs) The 14th thing you want to avoid doing in your cabin is not forgetting to use your do not disturb sign or... Um, I'm sleep, whatever one it says, so that the cabin steward don't walk in on you naked <laughs> or while you having your intimate time. It, it actually it actually bring a story back to my mind. It's this comedian. I think he's still on comedy. Oh, I thought you was about to tell one of our uh, stories. CJ, <laughs> C, uh, CJ Jones. Yes. And he was telling the story. He was like, your cabin steward is the nicest pervert that you ever want to meet. <laughs> he said he will knock on your door. Hello, are, are you, you naked? naked? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, fam, we don't want the cabin steward to walk in on you in a vulnerable situation. That would be so embarrassing. Because they so, literally do a... Yeah, they knock, knock, and they open. open the <laughs> <laughs> also in the reverse, don't forget to take the do not disturb off. Yes. <clears throat> because we have had time mm-hmm. where the cabin attendant have seen us in the hallway. It was like, look, that's silly. I thought y'all were in the room sleeping. Yeah, so that's why your room ain't clean yet. That's why your room ain't clean. So... Take it off just as well as you put it on. And in the comments, who's been guilty of that, that you didn't put your do not disturb sign on and that cabin steward came in your room? If you're guilty, put that down there. (laughs) (laughs) The 15th thing to avoid 
And this is before you get off of your cruise. You would not even believe how many times I am on Facebook and I see people in cruise groups doing a copy and paste to every Carnival Cruise group that they can find themselves in because they have forgotten to clear their safe before uh. they get off of the ship. And I'm telling you, that safe, clearing that out can be a little deceptive because it's dark on the inside. Yeah. So what I tell people to do is take that little felt piece and pull it out of the safe, yes. shake around and take your hand and just do a quick like motion all the way around that, that safe yeah. because something can get trapped into the corners. You would not believe how many people have parted with their wedding bands, yeah. engagement rings, watches, even wallets. So don't be that person. Clear out your safe because the people that I be say I be feeling for them, they be yeah. trying to get in the next sailings <clears throat> cruise group to see if somebody that was in their previous cabin sees the message and goes and get their stuff and possibly be that good Samaritan and, and sends it to them. But it, it's easy to happen. It's so easy yeah. for that to happen. Yeah, and not only that, also recheck around in your cabin over and over and over again because it's so easy to leave items on your desk or on the end tables that's the beside balcony. the bed, <laughs> on the balcony. <laughs> the balcony. Um, uh, we was on the Icon um, earlier this year, and we left out the ca- out the cabin, and I left. We left our $600 DJI cabin. I mean, uh, Packet 3 in the cabin, and we didn't think about it until we got off the ship and we was on the gangway. And it you can't t- go back. <laughs> you can't go back. Once you get checked out, they won't let you go back. And I guarantee we waited for probably about two hours. But how long we wait? It was long. It was a long wait. I would say about an hour. Maybe I'm over exaggerating. Because it felt like it was two hours. Yeah. And in that scenario, we had alerted security to go up to send somebody to get our stuff. We happened to have a whole bunch of friends on the sailing. So we called them and they went to our cabin and retrieved it. Still sitting on the bed. Nobody had told our attendant anything. He saw it and he said he was going to turn it into lost and found. But it probably would have been months before we had seen our camera. Or if any. Yeah. And I was panicking because all of the footage from the Icon Icon series that's on the channel now, y'all wouldn't have had it. Y'all wouldn't have had it because we didn't back up nothing. Nope. Nothing. Number 16 that you should avoid doing in your cabin, and you all listen to me good at this one. Do not, and this only for you if you book a balcony cabin, do yes. not open your balcony cabin door and your cabin door at the same time. It creates this crazy wind tunnel in your room that you do not want to experience. We done done, we actually did it on Virgin one time, uh-huh. and the door said, Boom! Um, there was a, I said, what the hell is that noise? And then, if you saw recently on social media, on Facebook, <laughs> that uh, <laughs> this family actually left their balcony door open during Hurricane Milton, and there was a flock of birds in their room. It looked like the movie Birds, and then looked like Bird Box too. if y'all knew that movie with Sandra <laughs> yes. Bullock. Yeah. Birds was everywhere. So, I'm not saying that birds going to be ending up in your cabin, but yeah, please... But- yeah. It can happen. The seventeenth thing not to do: don't hang anything on your balcony rails. I know. Yeah. It, it seems like the ideal thing to do is to take your swimwear and hang it out there to dry. In, and your towel. And your towels, but that skit's gonna blow away. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna blow away. The better thing to do is to take your chair, maybe turn your chair around backwards, and use your clips, your towel clips. Yes. And just clip it to it then. The same breeze will get in there and they will go ahead and get your stuff dry. All right. The 18th thing that you do not want to do in your cabin is partake of that high water that's on the desk when you arrive. Make sure that you pre-buy your waters, that you can buy those when before you even get on the ship. If your car, which is your sign and sale car, is red or above, you can go to the bar and get a free bottle of water. And what I tell people is, if you just happen to get thirsty in the middle of the night and you need some water and you haven't redeemed your free bottle of water from the bar, drink the bottle of water, go to the bar the next day, get it, bring it back and replace it. Yes. Because maybe they will charge you for it. Yeah. The 19th (laughs) thing to avoid doing. Now, this is just being the nice neighbor. Yes. Because this is not your house. (laughs) This is not your own domain. Please be courteous to the people beside you. Loud TVs, 
You being loud if you catching what I'm putting down. Uh huh. Music all up and loud. One night we was in our room. Well, Stanley said this because I was asleep. He said that the person beside us, the TV, was so goddamn loud that he could hear everything the TV was talking the about. The TV woke me up out of my sleep. It was so loud. We don't hear people getting it on loudly. Uh-huh. I mean, yeah, it is so, what it is. So, yeah. <laughs> Family, listen to us good. Those walls are it. not soundproof. Mm. They are not soundproof. At all. No. <laughs> we can hear you. Yes. And vice versa. <laughs> The 20th thing that you do not want to do in your cabin, and we know we live in the world right now where majority of people have cell phones. Right. But just in case if you get tempted to want to call back home from the phones in the room, do not do that Mm -mm. because they charge you high rates per minute to make those calls. I had to use that phone one time for a business call because for some strange reason... I could not get my stuff to go through, even on my internet phone. And she had to call Carnival. And I had to call Carnival Carnival. from their ship. I tried to get them to do it at the guest services. Even as a travel agent, they were like, no. No, I can't do it. Call Carnival. A seven-minute call cost me $30. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. The 21st thing to not do, listen. (laughs) If you're a person that likes to walk around in your birthday suit. Right. Make sure that you're... Your balcony curtains are closed. Yes. Or that your person that you're in the room with. Yeah. Yeah. Don't have the balcony curtains open. Yeah. yeah. Because <clears throat> you may not know how quickly another ship can pull right up beside you <laughs> and they can see clean <laughs> in the rooms. Yes. <laughs> Especially if it's nighttime. Just because they look like they're a little far in the distance. If your room has the light on and you're naked and that room curtain is open, they can see you. Yeah. Then if you're pulling into port, it is way more crucial to keep them curtains closed when you're in port. You pulling in in the morning, you trying to get yourself dressed so you can go on the Nassau or whatever, and you don't pull up beside the Royal <laughs> Caribbean sh- um, ship and you butterball naked. And they looking at you, looking at me, yeah. looking at you. It made me think about, I was watching uh, Emma, one of Emma Cruz's videos. Shout out to oh, Emma. Oh, yes. I remember that one. And, but she was <laughs> on a river cruise. And she went out and she opened up her window. And this old lady was in her bathroom washing up. And she <laughs> saw it. Emma said, oh, my God. She said, oh, my God. <laughs> All right. If you enjoying this video, you want to check out this video next. 18 cruise packing mistakes you must, all cruisers must avoid. And we're going to catch you in the next video. Peace.